Parliament ya Feno, ebi genda maso, buli omuwa alaba nti buli muche kubira. Buli member, aino omuwa ganya, okuleta chiteso, okuleta enongo sereza muteka liyo nache Twitter private members bill. Na ye, buli mu embele ya abana, nebya na. Honorable Odria Owa Aringa, Yele gala kulete chiteso, okole nongo seleza mu Administration of Parliament Act. Omwa kukwe de, na awa notisi na ete vamo teka kukoda pepa, okufuna live ya parliament ne vilala. Chiyali ya gala, nga gama na ingi liba komisiona, jivalo onde wanga. Ino kwe mulugu nya mchivina chacha NRM, kwa haba inawa komisiona ziba sato. Nga gama nida, insonge ne chuke, fina tuwe tabemu, kati nongo seleza jiali ya gala kuleta. Ni vamo uma chansi, kukoda pepa. Umwa kakati guise. Wiki seziwe de onrebo oguzuli wa maracha na yeye yali agala kuleta nongo seleza mu administration of parliament act ni bamulemesa era mwa bawuli denga be mulugunya ni ate munafe onrebo lumu ngagala kuleta nongo seleza zezimu kuteka lye limu ebibi mwatu bidu se speed na ate kaye notice ni bamwera o chance ku order paper mwa bilaba eguru na afuna live parliament kakati First reading ya kole dua. Eteka li asindi kidua muka chiko. Haka ina okuli kwa saganya. Ketu ita Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. Nyewo tunuli da shedu. Kumanga shedu baju kozeda. Kukabulichimu chiduka speed. Batandi kancha. Okuli za bantu avenja ulo. Okuleta endo oza za weku teka. Muna iti. Tichitida kufida u. Tichisangi kasangi kachini. Bulichimu ne chiduka speed. Elabo tunuli da shedu ya we. Bagi enda sinka na bantu oluencha. Olo kutano, ne mandi. Inanga kushedi waga amba kuloku vi. Parlamenti, emalizize nso ngeno, eteka li itenga wali agala. Kate chuchiku laga, bani avali ya mabega wa honorable umu, musajia wa tutali ye kaa. Ena wali waba chukula, baduka speed, 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 speed. Kupanga bani nafabala, boba waba gali lewelu. Mwako guise, nga bata demu notisi za wena chi, ne waba gana. Na ye ye, eche chitambula speed, kukambu labi dadala, che kubira, uichiti wa speaker, gwali na muyamba yamba ko. Baina interest kubanga, gubata getinga, ama nyiki dua. Ono bolumu, aga mandi chino chakola, achukola kuluogulu njiru kwa opposition. Echo si chitufu, kubanga, opposition muava, atamu denagenda kubitebe, ebi ebi vine, ebi enja ulo. Nebu li jala ze, nga kota dene echi vine, echi che muava. Bamu gami etineda, enongo seleze no, mfu. Buli echi vina, Echo opposition njala zi. Nechiche. Kakati. Boho gamba nchino chokola. Ochikola kuluwa avulu unji luwa vwa opposition. Ata vwa opposition. Boho gamba nchino chokola. Lero avulu unji. Paku gami nchino chino chifuchi veko. Kati chuchiku laga. Aina balala bako lida. Kuwanga sigade. Agenda maso. Nensonga yeno. Chanaku. Chanaku ntipa nafaba mu. Nsonge zimu tipajia zitu walanga nkulu. Obuli ake, obi wa sente yomu wa msolo. Uwelezo uh, obufupu wa service delivery. Obu kulembezo obu. Butali bulunji bad governance. Obu kulunji abantu. Nebi la nebi la la. Nyeti ya ah. Obu siwe buzi wa Uganda. Obu singa. Lido of opposition. Ngeri. Jalo onde wa. Kwe buzi wetu inange guanga. Katuduke speed. Tuchiteleze. Tujia ba uliranga bo gira kubine. Nebi la la inguzi. Nebi la. Neka kati ababiyo gira ko. Abo. Betu ino kulumbira dala katichiku laga priorities is up. Wenti kakati boba la wanti wanowe wali omulaka. Jirewe uzi uwa Uganda. Obusi ingira dala. Muganda wa fono. Yegenda na udi saba nansi. Na waganti kakati. Da chiteso chende ita. Siche ya techidi ku, kulida wa opposition ye ka. Nye muli mune bidala biya gama nti vino vino unji biya mbe guanga. Kuso kira dala tu wakala deputy speaker. Abenga avamu opposition ni. Nchevi na vya agenda bita ikamu. Na agama anti. Akaluoka baka wede. Namba bili. Averinga limu parliament. Nika lido opposition. Na agama anti. Vyo na vyo nevi. Vyo nje vijoku yamba demokrasia ya fe. Agenda bita ikamu bago. Na ye. Katipuli omu ya labi bilu. Ya furumi. Yete bili imu. Echukula ga targeti ya wu. Yalichi. Ye never never akolera. Targeti ya wu. Yete yalinti. Avi nevida vya za yogera kuhu. Na chiyo. Kugeza kuhu kusiga kazigo. Targeti yali senyo nyono. Atusumbu wawa nwa. Yogera kuunguzi. Agenda masu mpala mendi. Ayugira kufuga biko gamba ale mede kukunso nge zenja ulo. Senyo nyono. Mm -mm, Katumukole konga buchari. 
era bitulira tumaina abagenda chikola kubanga muteka te chikirizibwa ne ba garanti ngiteka limaze okuyita chikolebwewo bwangu dalala senyo nyiva mu office tulonde kwe twagala bagala chikola immediately naye mateka tuina chituita anti eteka teri teri kolanga lidda mabega retrospectively ne baine ngi je waiza ko kifumba katulinde tulabe okulaba anti chikolerawo mu bwangu dalala Muna yetu inaba nafe, abake metelelewe meme. Uloku banti Joel senyo nyi ya fuka lead of opposition. Ila chibaluma nyo bambi. Uh, tupasabide, banna fabo, tibabike mitima. Tibaluwala, kubanga, chibaisa bubi. Na ye, nze, nga mwenzi ze ngamba, Sigenda kubiri la lead of opposition duberi la. Sina na kubiri la lead of opposition duberi la. Sina zasuse mu office eno. Sina agenda okusembo kubiri la mu office eno. Ni ina ganti chisera chena abiri la mu office eno. Njia tu kilizovu na inzwa bwangi. Enguzi tujia jiani ka tujia jo geda ko tujia jisidi kidi la. Nebi cha mu ebi dala ebi genda maso. Mugavumenti wano mupali amenti. Chivudula baga antika kati senyo nyonu ale medeko katumusoti ngechevakeza kukula. Na ye, bionaye wakula chiringa ku, kusiwansa ano kumazi. Akasera kona kendi muofi senu. Oba banga chi, oba banga chi, zenja kula echocho na echi nsubiru wamu. Echi nye izaba na feba no, unobolumu baku ataganye na bo. Echo kubanti, Yebuza, obati yebuza, no kwebuza kuyali yako la mganda wa fono, tekuali kwa mazima. Singo kwebuza, kuno kuali kwa mazima, chechali sose. Ni ya gama, chagenda kwebuza, kubo opposition, nevi vina na chi, nga maze, okutambula, afunye libya parlamenti, na abu jide guanga, bulichimucho, na chagenda, okuteka, muteka, alie, na ganti kari kanzi, jembe yebuza yako. Singa wali serious, kwebuza kubandu. <coughs> Chewali soso kukula. Nekali katugamenti ya chijuki la ruvanyuma. Agenze nebu za kuhivina vya position ya vienja ulu. Mbuli chivina chaya agenda mu wakuebu za. Nga kutadene chiche Democratic Party muhava. Pondaba mugama antineda. Echintu chino chichamu chiveko. Na ye, chakula zenti ajachile merako. Katichikula ganti agenda kuhivu za kwa uvoli yao anauli za. Echiva yeri. Haa. Ya gama anti ye, kagenda kule. Echo chenyini, chayaka lukula. So, buwebu nafusi, buwebu li mbobo, uh, kubaira anga buingambi enti, ya limba banda Uganda, kubana kuwafeda, kwa gama, ntika kati neda, e, e, teka hali angeli noliende eta, teliku ata just kulido of opposition. Mm -mm. Tuwa galant, deputy speaker na ye, alonde wenga avamo opposition, haka ulikaba wakaba kawede, anabila namba bili, atule mpala mentinga, lido of opposition ni, Nebi lala, nebo suma bilu ye Tebidi imu bilu yu, yu na yu na Kwa ata kulido of opposition So, ya udi sabantu kubanga Bane habamu tuma okole chintu chino Tageti yawe, ya lisenyo nyi Na ye, ngabu ngambi ntinze, sija kusidika Okugira kusonga zemba denjo gira ko Okuzile mera ko paka Ila kasera kuna kendi muofi seno Nja kusigalanga nemede ko kusonga zemba Ndabi programu Aaaa uh, Nti akachiko kwa program nafi tujifunye mu, muungeli ya fi. <laughs> Nti akachiko ka, ka Liga and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. Kaa nsubiro kubela yu nakuluwa lero. Yu nakuluwe ncha. Okuwa yu endooze zange. Sinafuna kuhitibua. Invitation later sinajita. Sina, sina jita ba. Na ye. Tuhabite gede. Yani program tujifuna. Mumagezi. Uh, Walua waji tufuni de. Kukia wako la ganti uliche wako la. Bachikola mungu kutu, bachikola supidi, supidi, kuwanga boba ina chivagalo kola. So, naba uvuli yao, naba na agenda, naba na iti wabulunji. Ntikati unafunye invitation ni, hajemu kachiko. Bagala chikola justi, kusiga kazi kukula ganti bebu uzi zako, na inga boche bagalo kola, bachimanyi. Nga unobulumbo ya gama, ntika agende bebu uze kubivina, ni ya bebu uzako, bonda ni bambu ulida ni doboze, ni umuangu kachino chichamu, ni ila, Na sigalanga akola echa ya galo kola. Katichila ganti. No kuebu uza kopu. Just kwa kubuza abuza. Kutega uchifana nyinti. 
bebu za koku bantu abenja ulu na inga bo chivaga lukola bachima nchofu dula abata ambula speed hk chawa gule chita banga u like i have said i um we we did get the schedule uh somebody did get it to us quietly but um i've not gotten any official communication from the legal and parliamentary affairs committee the way committees operate because i was the chairperson of the committee you write to anybody that you want to appear before you so i've not got an invitation to appear before the legal and parliamentary affairs committee but the schedule that has been given to us quietly they have put me on the schedule to appear there tomorrow but i can't just budge into the committee and say i quietly saw a program and i was there no i'm supposed to get a proper invitation otherwise then you know that's that's not how we operate but like i'm saying even if they eventually write to whoever and they show up they're just trying to create an impression that the whole process is consultative but they know what they want to do that's why they're doing it very quickly um and also like our colleague honorable Lumo pretended that he was going to consult political parties all of them told him abandon this thing but he has gone ahead and done what he wanted to do so clearly showing you that the whole consultation was uh, just to create an impression that the process has been consultative but he and his people who are pursuing this they know what they want to do and that's exactly what they are running Wesi mimatu, oliwa mkiso kuchira abalala, omugugu gwebizu vietaka, gukuti kudwa, Brand Property Services Limited, kureta keritari konkayana, enyumbe zwe doku zimbibwa, wamune zoku pangsa, apartments zoku pangsa, wamune okugula, mawanga agenja ulu, okuli Uganda, Kenya, Bungereza, Dubai, America, wamune Canada, okuda abidize nyumba, obebi zimbibyo, property management, naba survey ya bakugu, abata okufere, tuwe kwa te, konsonga zone ze kusa kubyetaka nga kuota denu kugwera ku chapa cho kati pazo yibetake badde kukalubiriza egonjo dwa bo kwata ganye na fe tukubire ku noti musanvu noti 3 munana bili nya noti musanvu mwenda oba noti musanvu musanvu 3 bili mukaga tano munana noti obotu sange ku empty house omwali rogusoka room 5 ewazana ku Entebbe road okulirana ekizembe cha mugulume empire tuchalire ko ne ku website ya fe www. Brandpro.co.ug Brand Pro Property Services Limited Tutu Kiliza Biloto Eteke ilio nzendi wakanya Onu principal Nzendo oza Bwe mufu nye obuta kanya Olwa yero nenupu nga elimu opposition Yenchuwe nzo kera nga Oba DP yerio Oba NRM yerio Elimu mufu zisiro oza Ntuche kwa kubima lana mateka Nti buwa walo nzono nga sikilizi ganyana Eka tuwete teka Ida tumujie kwa Echo sikilizi ganyana Chile alumu na mubu ulida Nsonge ndale ziri mbiru ye. Buzire tera munu. Chifana nangu mtu wafumbie. Akatogo. Zindi musiramu. Note kamwe mbizi. Nkoko. Nkoko njaga. Nebo mbikisinga mwe mbizi sigiria. Katiru mchia koze. Atade nkoko na afumba. Avoku nyanja wachi itaichi bero. Muli mwe mbizi. Muli mwe nkoko. Muli mwe mbuzi. Katia gamba. Kalo watu liya mbizi liya nkoko. Awami fumbide wami sabola kubiria. Nti mparlamenti e ye kumi. FDC ya ita mumbela ye mu. Bwe, bwe tuwafa muku wangu langa haba muntu watu wangu de. Haba muriati uliyaliye wa muntu wa ya gara kumugu wa watani kia kui ni chiza as a leader of opposition ni nevada kwa ose siri ogwala ze commission na wudu katundu as chair person of a committee on ukosase. Kati e take care yo. Nelide e tebu wangaru mubu alirese. Nti katuwa ya leader of opposition ni. Abo opposition wuna ba mulonde, ba commissioner parliament ya balonde. Nendiru wanyi sanyo, ilawa wa naba njavo, ogwangu, katambuka. Nga po wati okuogira wa sivanga muofisi ya nganze mbogerira. Uh, constitution ewa edembe vuli member wa parliament, kusobola ukuleta eteka, ove nongo seleza mwecho chalo oza anti chukulu, kati hona lebo Richard Rumu. Ya webo luku sanga tuliguru Nga inevi chiteso che Nte nonda ya lead of opposition Yeta kukuchusi wamo Ba member ba parliament Ibe njini Abo opposition Bebaba vero ndera Omuntu agendo bakule mbela Kubango na veda lead of opposition Mo parliament Siwa vero wa parliament Kakati enongo seleza yeri mwe gumba Ila kachiko kagenda jitu nulira Nangengenda genda yu, nungero kwe tegeleza. 
si la bawo buzibu bwe ba meba ba parliament bwe ba banga beronde de lead of opposition abo opposition chempa kanya chenja ka kwetegereza muteka ali kansubira si chechirimu aba meba ba parliament bona sibe basanyo kulonda lead of opposition wabula abo opposition bwe kibere echo nja kwetegereza nyizo kubanga ndio mukuba sobolo kuchiwagira parliament bo opposition twerondere lead of opposition mirimu ya fegi sobolo kutambula obulungi olwo kubera omuvumu naleta enongo sereza mutekeryo bweri nabali kirizibwa ku floor ya parliament ajagenda mbi afayo nga omuntu yalete enongo sereze eranja ro kusaba ba member wa parliament banyi temutya Mulete vile mulozi atu kubwa gani yake vile mulozi. Kwa chama nendo kwa geraji inzo kurumi abamu. Na yewe na mbuganda tulina hawa mukisa mubi tia birungi tu soka bigan. Neto yire timu guanya woyazire tawano abantu vazi gani? Chovola vazi tabo muguanya ba ba kuvamba kwa zisim. Ne muanya wazaji wano ba gani waziri ma ba ba kuvamba kwa chivu vazi tachivu. Kaka tina chuno chende seba jia chiga na ba 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 gara. Na yewe njoo gera na bo, eri ba gamba tu yamba uchirete, na yetu liba titizi. Katinze katonda che yamba, siri mo titizi. E chitufu, chiba chichi, chitufu. Nedi ni weyaji. Teba ajigana, nebata na abantu. Kakati chino chirunji nyo, eri saidi opposition, era amba sababali kwa opposition, bale mekora kabampane, babisome, babitegere, bambuze, njabanyo nyora, evi ntumbimanyi. Ababaka abamu okupapabaga yita magezi. Era sirabye na nsonga lwachi mbadda mu kubanga nze bwe namazo gisoma ne bakola ruling nti egende mu komiti. Kati bilibyo nabye babadde bakola babadde bamalabudde. Ruling ebadde yakoleddwa dda. Chovuda anti we into decisive day ongamba tunuliranga nange mbeewunya. Ruling bwe maro okolebwa. Rules atezi kugamba toyongera ko. Kati wadde bakola chi mukama ya inzo okumanya naye wano na manyirawo wali wa basingo kola ebintu ngabakolebwa edda babitanga kabanda be obe ebinyumu kati nze we mmazo okusoma speaker ne muka ka sant certificate of financial implication in jirina na referring ngabienso mie mu committee kati awone bo baddo yogera no uva mu amanyo nze bade na maze kibade chetaga 2 minutes erand nze maze nemva nawo akati wadde banyumya chisimanya Biru eyo, elimuwe bintu vinji, vye nja gala viveo. Elaba na vera mkomiti mjia kulaba, nti nja kusoka kuwa ebya fayo vye chufocha lead of opposition, for example. Nengiri jibiba debi jabi yuza yuzamu, ebivina, ebili kusaide vuganya. Kati echoche njini nja gala chijawo, chimazewe miaka ankaga, ngabuli omua chucho ugerako, Buli acho gera ko atia segono yoyageza ko chileta nene wagaba nechita itamu kati echa angeva chuo kani zanga teva na chitegeera kaka tini nzisijia bafa ako zekangende ne tegeke unkome wao ngende mu komiti tu kome wao for fast trading muri mu evi intu vingi muri mu time allocation jetu agada evi vina vyo bufuzi bifune wano mu parliament ngabuli chivi na chini na time mu chuo gerera. Echo simanyi wechirumira bali kusaidi ya vya yange jembe rako. Mulimu nalimu okufuna komisyono umulala. Eyo yenso nga luwa chitepa mpa da certificate yeyo. Kubanga baga manticho chijia kuongeza kubudget. Na yewe natu kamu komiti. Ya kumatiza komiti. Mtichikuru okuongera kwa komisyona wa parliament umulala. Mubimu njagalo kugobanga lead of opposition chivere chango. Kubanga katichafu kachizivu. Atewe tuba tumugoba, ate parlamenti yo newe era inforovuti. Kala ate parlamenti yo namu kumuro onda, ate teba amu. Kati njagara fetu batu muegovera. Fetu bulida bubuli zi parlamenti, nti omuntu tuwa mumaze, yo parlamenti nge ira angirida. Evyo nyangu yizambe ira ya opposition, jetuliko kwa tuwa garaba na jia, bangu yizwe, bangu yizivuo bulamu. Echo kubiri, mulimu, echintu echikuru enyo, Aba ntucheba tagala kuogera kaba mu. Mukubaka fana nyo. Ngete kawe lili kati. Singe bibina bibiri. Bide taba baka angabe nkana nkana. 
DP nereta asatu, nenupu nereta asatu. Kati lido of opposition tumufuna tutia. Evi umbita demu tuteka. Kakati njaga na necho tuchifunire amagezi. Kati. Na yoke ndo kuna wabuli omuanyo, ayagaro kunyumia chino, ayagaro kunyumia. Bine mitisibi ya kunyumia, binu vya mutui. In Africa, whenever there is something good, they first of all resist it and even wear it, dress it with all kinds of things. I can tell you in, uh, in Buganda, the coffee is called Chivoko. The reason why it is called Chivoko, people resisted to grow it and were simply whipped to grow it. Right now they are benefiting. They thought that the one who was bringing coffee had bad intentions. Even electricity. If everything. So I want to tell my brother that my heart has always been a very clean heart and it will always continue to be. But share through so you. Maybe there is no problem. Share through you, sorry to interject. You know when you are dealing with Jonathan and Luganda, his Luganda is not very good. Like it's already on record. In which team? Like which team? I tried, I tried, I tried. I, I tried to interpret for him, but I can give him another important one was a toilet. Why the toilet is called Mugwanya? Mugwanya was a prime minister of Buganda. He introduced digging the toilet. People resisted. Because it was too harsh on them, they named the toilet Mugwanya. So don't, don't, have, uh, don't have in you any, anything to think that there is bad spirit or bad. I am trying to make things good, to chew actually what has been in Uganda for the last 60 years. Thank Today you. we must... Thank you. I'm sure that question you have faced it before. I just wanted the committee to have on record uh, uh, have good faith. Uh, 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 where the, by Honorable Dulu, where the elections took place and uh, who presided over, I will provide that one in a written form uh, after doing thorough uh, research on it. And Mr. Chairman, the other one is the, the budget and how I want the budget to be done by Honorable Nwagaba. That one I will also respond in a written form. Um, Honorable Nwagaba was worried whether what I'm proposing will not kill the opposition. Mr. Chairman, that what I'm providing actually will, will strengthen the opposition. And I want a very strong opposition. Even if we are in power, I'm trying to make you people in the NRM, when you are in uh, opposition, when you are strong there, when you can check us properly. So that is what I'm providing. Yeah. The, the other one who presided over, I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will give you in a written form. Where uh, my model is working, I can give you countries where it is working, but it is proper if I do further research and I give you that. But I know in Ghana, that's how they do. So I will present to the clerk when I'm done with it. The one <coughs> which I actually think would be the proper one would be when the first run-up is the lead of opposition. But it requires to amend the constitution. Because of, uh, I think, Article 78, if I'm not, if it is offered, I think the composition of parliament and how ex officials come into parliament, that would be the best proposition. And the research I have uh, of head is that when Paul Semogerere, the late, was the leader of opposition from 1980 to 1985, there was no tension at all because he was the president of the party at the same time, the leader of opposition. So that harmonious kind of situation is what I want to see in the parliament. Chair, so that can I correct the meeting for the record to be proper? <coughs> the man of voting in 1980 was by proportional representation. So the Honorable Dr. Shumogere came with a constituency. So was Dr. Mitunogote. So, so each had a constituency they yes. came with the parliament. So we had uh, a hybrid uh, um, presidential system and then uh, proportional representation. So amending the constitution to give us that 
would require also amending particular provisions of the mode of electing members of parliament. Presidential system to elect the president. When you see how we elect MPs and how we sit in the parliament, it might be the parliamentary kind of thing. I have looked at different constitutions in, in the world, but I have not come across the word movement system. But it once worked in Uganda. So there is nothing which stops us as members of parliament to create what is good for this country, other than simply copying from wherever. Probably those people might also have coped or they created. So we can also create something new for the good of the country. We don't simply have to pick from anywhere. But my point was here, is that for me what I want, I want all what I, I would like to see, that the first run-up should have a cap of elections for him to to have gotten from the uh, from the elections, for him to for a particular kind of democracy. Why they drafted the constitution the way it is, there was an intention, there was that spirit in them to create uh, the, the, the democracy that was working for the country as it is today. And I don't want to touch that democracy because it is already provided for in the constitution. The way it is, I'm satisfied. That is why I didn't even uh, touch it when I was uh, moving my amendments. The other one, Mr. Chairman, was the, other, the question moved by Honorable Duru. When is, um, when is commencement? I would prefer that commencement is done in the next parliament, in the 12th parliament. That's what I would prefer, because I have no problem when it starts in the next parliament. All what I want is that as if we have uh, put uh, the law in order, everything is, in pro in, it is proper, it can start in the next parliament. I have no problem with it. Chair, you see now, is that an amendment? Because the issue, that, that is a clause now. Yeah, we can. So that's a, an additional amendment that you. We, we, can, we can put that one as a new clause. Because yeah, it is not clause, what you prefer. prefer yeah, but you want to draft a clause. Draft a clause. You can have an clause mm. and bring and it. No problem, Mr. Chairman. It. That, that is why, actually, I said some are going to be in the written form. <laughs> <laughs> yes, M Mr. Chairman, there is something which I left out, very, 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 very important. The a lacuna which is actually in the law as it is, because my land uh, brother, the Vice Chairman, almost alluded to it, but he stopped somewhere. The law says election, the Parliamentary Administration Act, but that act does not specify who is to elect when you are there. And that one is a problem. We don't know whether it is MPs, you don't know whether it is the executive, you can't tell. So that one also is, is a problem which I can actually provide for. What you're for, actually telling us is that. For, we, we can, I can provide, Mr. Chairman, like you have allowed me to bring the other one, I can also add on the other one. The bias of... Um, the Speaker of Parliament is becoming a lot more prevalent nowadays, and this bias can be seen in the modus operandi. A couple of times, colleagues will have bills that they will want to push through, and they'll be suffocated. Last year, the Honorable Audria of Aringa wanted to table, first of all, notice to give notice, and to be, he gave notice, and he wanted to be given leave of Parliament eventually to bring amendments to the Administration of Parliament Act. His concern for him at the time was uh, commissioners, because he was saying, I also would like or anybody else from the NRM side to become a commissioner among the three of the NRM. But he was frustrated. He was never put on the order paper to be granted leave and, and so on. Honorable Oguzuli, about two or so months ago, gave notice and wanted to seek leave of Parliament to amend the Administration of Parliament Act, but that did not happen. Our colleague, the Honorable Lumu, from nowhere, uh, of course it is, right? Uh, he's entitled to do that, 
But the fact that everything of his happened very quickly, that uh, when he gave notice, very quickly he was put on the order paper, he was granted leave, now the bill has been read for the first time. It is very concerning when, as a presiding officer, you operate that way. You seem to have interest in particular matters, and yet you're denying other colleagues the right that they do have, which, which is problematic. Because, you see, when you look at the schedule, the bill was now sent to the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee. When you look at the schedule of the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, they want to process this bill in three days. That rarely happens. Everything is being done at a supersonic speed, and uh, according to the schedule, Tuesday next week, they want Parliament to conclude the matter. That's when now it will be tabled uh, for its final reading and so on. Why the hurry? Madam Speaker, why do you seem to be very interested in this matter? And that's what colleagues were asking yesterday. That's what all of us are trying to establish. Do you have particular interest in this matter? It's a question that hopefully we'll get an answer to it. The, the thing about Honorable Lumo's... Um, Proposal, like I've said, it is his right as a private member to bring through a bill such as this one. But he has consulted opposition political parties. But each one of them he has gone to has told him, no, this is a bad idea, including the party from which he comes. So how can he say that he's doing this for the good of the opposition when the political parties that belong to the opposition have all told him this is a bad idea? So it is very clear who Honorable Lumu is working for in regard to this particular matter. Now, for our colleague not to be bothered about certain critical things, whether it be corruption, poor service delivery, bad governance, and so on, but for him and a few others, the biggest challenge our country is having is the leader of the opposition and how he gets to be in office. So that, that clearly shows you that these issues are not of concern. This person who is talking about them, this senior is talking about corruption, bad governance, poor service delivery, and so on, this person is the problem. We need to see how we fix him. And clearly, he's having those who are aiding him. There are people that were not happy that Joel Senior became leader of the opposition. They continue to be unhappy. And uh, that's not expected. Maybe they thought it would have been there. Maybe it should have remained for some a bit longer and, and that kind of thing. I feel sorry for them. I hope they will not fall sick because uh, really leadership comes from God. But even more importantly, Joel Senyon is not meant to be leader of opposition forever. No. I'm here in this office. I was not the first in this office. And I'm not going to be the last in this office. But what's important is, while I am in this office, I will execute my duty to the letter. I will keep the government in check. I'll not keep quiet about corruption in government, corruption in this building parliament, issues of poor service delivery. I will not keep quiet. Now, I know that those things are annoying people, and that's why they are moving very quickly to deal with Senyonyi. And we hear, by the way, which is even problematic against the law, that after they have passed this bill, they want it to take effect immediately. Senyonyi vacate office that, so that now we get to hold elections and that kind of thing, which is against the principles of law, because the law does not operate retrospectively. But that is the scheme, the clandestine scheme that some of these our colleagues do have. Nonetheless, like I've said, while I am in this office, I'll not shy away from executing my duty, because that's why I'm here. Am I afraid of losing this office? No, like I have said very succinctly, I am not the first leader of opposition. I'm not going to be the last. And um, I am not here to stay. For heaven's sake, it is draining. It is strenuous to be in, this, in the opposition in this country of ours. Completely. You know, everything you want to push through, we prepare minority reports, we prepare alternative ministerial policy statements, an alternative budget, and so on. And all of these things are really thrown out the window. But we are glad we prepare these things because we must show Ugandans the right direction. That while there is this, there is what should be. So it's frustrating to be in the opposition. I don't want to be in the opposition forever. My hope is that my party eventually takes power. That's what we are working towards. So I am not dying to remain in the office of the leader of the opposition and for that matter, the opposition generally. Because you see, this office here, for those that have been to jail, there's such a thing as RP. Um, when I was, that was the second time I was arrested in Kasangati, when we were going to hold consultations in uh, January of 2020. 
was there for two days in the cell that I was in, overcrowded. I was the Arab, I was the team leader, you know, my colleagues with whom we were in the jail cell, they appointed me their leader for the two days we were there. So yes, I was their leader, but I was in jail with them. That's the situation with some of these positions we hold. You are a leader, and you might sound powerful, and, and so on, they'll give you bodyguards, and, and so on, but you're still a prisoner. That's the reality, and that's why there are still frustrations. The other day, I went to Rubiji over the concerns that were there. Police came and tear gas them, they tear gas me, and uh, the other leaders I was with. And people were saying, how can you tear gas the lead of opposition? Clearly, that shows you that uh, even as LOP, I am still a prisoner. I might be one of the leaders among the prisoners, but I'm still a prisoner. So I don't want to be on this end forever. And that's why we have been saying, if our colleague really was bringing this in good faith, how is it that your concern has just been the opposition? Because he lied to Ugandans that uh, his concern is not just the leader of the opposition position. He was saying, no, in his bill, he will also seek for the deputy speaker to come from the opposition. That he will seek for the first runner-up in the general election to become leader of opposition and several other things. When you read the bill as it is, they're not there. So he was just really um, fooling people, taking them for a ride. Him and his sponsors knew exactly who they were targeting and what they were targeting. And now it has come out very clearly, because you don't see any of those things in his bill. His bill is strictly lead of opposition. But the other time, he had adumbrated several proposals that were going to come through his bill. Where are they? So all of that is the bad faith. Um, and um, even for democratic growth, it's not a good thing when you legislate targeting an individual. Because you will want to push this law through to target Joel Senyonyi. But tomorrow he's not the one going to be in this office. It might be you or some of those that have sponsored this bill. Then what happens? When Amama Mbabazi was pushing through the Public Order Management Act, little did he know that he would become the first victim when he was arrested on his way to Mbali by the late Andrew Felix Kawesi. That time now he had fallen out of the regime and he wanted to run for president. And the late Kawesi told him, you're the one who enacted this law. So that's the law on which I'm basing to arrest you. And several other examples, Grace Vingida, detention without trial, and so on. So hopefully people can be sober enough, but uh, maybe they're not. They're very short-sighted. Yeah, um, first of all, the, the consultation was uh, that, from, from where I sit, what I've been observing, yeah? The consultation was just to try and smear the whole thing, yeah? It, uh, it, it was not genuine. Because you cannot put the cart before the horse. If you really want to consult people and get their input before you bring a bill, why do you consult them after you've moved several steps ahead? You have given notice. You have sought leave of parliament. You have made many steps ahead. You have told the public what it is that you want to do. And then you go and consult. Which one should have come first if you were serious about consultations? But nonetheless, even when he went to consult everybody that he did consult, all the political parties he went to were telling him, no, this is a bad idea. But he has gone ahead with it. So what was the consultation for? Because if it was, let me consult, and what I will be told, that's what I will follow. Is he following what he has been told? Because all the parties that he consulted, including his party, Democratic Party, he told him, no, this is a bad idea. Yeah. Um, so that, that tells you that the consultation was not a genuine consultation. He had made up his mind on what to do. And it's not just him. I actually feel sorry for my brother because uh, he's being used and we know the people who are using him. We hope that he does not get his fingers burnt because uh, <laughs> there's a litany of examples of people that have been used and dumped and thrown under the bus. Yeah? The, the game plan, one like I've said, I'm not fighting remain leader of uh, the opposition. I am not the first in this office. I'm not supposed to be the last um, in this office. But um, as, as we keep saying, ours will keep awakening Ugandans to rise to the occasion and realize the challenges within our politics, both within the NRM and the opposition, which we sit with. It's good they are clearly seeing for themselves that, um, yes, some people might say they are opposition, but it's a different story altogether.
ultimately, the ball is in the hands of uh, the people of Uganda. But like I've said, while I'm in this office, for as long as I am in this office, I will not keep quiet about the ills that are happening, corruption especially, in government and in this parliament. Um, we will not keep quiet. I will not keep quiet. I will not stop to execute my mandate. Uganda, yeah, inshallah.